In 2005, director Ang Lee brought us one of the most powerful films of all time, Brokeback Mountain. This year, Focus Features proudly presents the sequel, Brokeback Mountain 2, The Cowgirls. All right, show me where the beaver bit you. It ain't no. Mm, this is pretty bad. We better get you down the mountain. Yeah. First, can I brush your hair? Okay. What are you doing up at Brokeback Mountain? People are starting to talk. Are you cheating on me? I reckon. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Who is it? I want to know. Now listen, Oat. This isn't easy for me. It's that cowgirl, Fanny. What? Fanny? You mean Fanny Tulips? <laughs> Compact girl that walks around town with the tight jeans and the chest? Yeah. Ain't you mad? Y yeah, very mad. You two are running around town, scissoring each other everywhere. <laughs> You owe me an explanation, Regina Haylicker. I want you to sit here and tell me every detail. You're a lazy? Oh my God! Well, you, hey, you don't have to do it up at Brokeback Mountain no more. You can do it right here at home in any room or shower in the house. Ooh. Hey, everybody! Great news! My wife's a rug doctor. <laughs> I wish I could quit you, but my husband won't let me. Neither will mine. My husband drove me here. So did mine. My husband's right over there. My husband's here, too. Pay no attention. Just a regular tree in the woods. Go on with your business. forever. Like nobody's business but ours. There's still some room on these rocks over there. There's no bad seats. Jump on in there. There you go. All right. Brokeback Mountain 2, The Cowgirls. This time, being gay is a good thing. to finally eat here. I know, this place is great. So what should I get? Anything your little heart desires. <laughs> Mike? Mike? Hey, John, what's hey, up, buddy? man? How you, you doing? Man. I'm great. I'm I work with John at Radio Shack. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice hi, I'm, I'm Nicole. Nice to meet you, hi. yeah. Hey, Mike, uh, where's Katie? <laughs> oh. She is in Oregon visiting her family. Oh. Well, say hello for me. I'll do that. <laughs> it's nice, it's nice meeting, meeting you. you. Yeah. Indeed. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Who's Katie? Katie is my girlfriend. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> uh, why haven't I heard about her before? You didn't ask. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have the crab cakes. Ooh, yummers. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole Parker. Now, it's not what I've been on some pretty bad dates recently. In fact, this actually happened to me about three weeks ago. And, and, and my response was actually that pathetic. Uh, so, uh, to make myself feel better, and through the magic of television, I would like to now all show you uh, what I wish I would have done. Sound good? Yeah. Let, let's just go back a bit. Let's just, you know, reacquaint ourselves with the actual situation, shall we? <laughs> okay. Katie is my girlfriend. Uh, why, why haven't I heard about her before? You didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't ask? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess it's somehow my fault that I didn't ask if you had a girlfriend! Are you kidding me? How did you not tell me you had a girlfriend? Nicole, calm down. You don't want to make a scene in a crowded restaurant. You calm down! You don't want to make a scene in the middle of a restaurant! Now listen. You don't listen! You're not making You're not even making sense! <laughs> don't look at him! Don't even look at him! she's been seeing for, I don't know, a couple weeks, has an Oregon-born girlfriend? She prettier than me, huh? Huh, she a trashy blonde boob whore? She runs a non-profit scuba school for deaf orphans with cancer. Hooray! Why don't we just go? Because I want to eat here! Waiter! Waiter! Hi, uh, are you ready to order? Yeah, we're ready to order. You can get Mike your side of extra girlfriend, okay? Extra girlfriend! Oh, That's oh. right! Extra What's girlfriend! Up? Extra girlfriend! Hey! Secure, I'm confident, and you know what? I don't think any guy is ever gonna treat me badly ever again. Good night, everybody. Enjoy the show. Bobby Lee, Don't show. Don't show. Bobby Lee. between 9 a.m. and noon. <laughs> Following takes place between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Bobby. Don't show. Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee, don't show. Bobby Lee. 
Bobby Lee, John Cho. John Cho, Bobby Lee. Bobby! 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 It only takes place between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. You ask me to come over, Bobby! The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. between 3 p.m. and 3.20 p.m. I called you over because I have a big film audition today. It's for Paul Thomas Anderson. He did Magnolia and yeah. Boogie Nights. John, this movie could change my life. It'll change my whole life. I really need to get this part. Understood. So, can you help me with my audition? Of course. What do we do first? <sighs> Let me be frank. Okay. You gotta get cleaned up, buddy. Good. <laughs> Enough. Rinse. The following takes place between 3.20 p.m. and 3.23 p.m. What are you doing? What do you mean? What are you, what are you wearing? You dressed as a cop? Yeah, the role is for a cop. You don't go to a, a cop audition dressed as a cop that says, Hey, check it out, please. I'm an Asian actor that wants to roll with a cop, please. Get, get out of the cop outfit. We're going to find you something else. What is that? It's my robot buddy! Who cares? John, we don't have time, all right? I have an audition! The following takes place between 3.23 p.m. and 3.45 p.m. Why don't you uh, improvise as the cop? All right. Freeze! LAPD! That's good, that's good, that's good. What's your accent, buddy? There's no Asian accent. In in no, you got to do an Asian accent. Freezer! L.A.P.D. Freezer! L.A.P.D. The following takes place between 3.45 p.m. and 4 p.m. Role playing. Okay. I'm the cop. You're the robber. Okay. I'm on patrol. You're okay. sneaking up behind me. Okay. Hey, give me your money. I want to be the cop, you be the robber. Right on, let's All go. Right? Let's do this. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm, I'm on city beat. Give me your money. Freeze up! LAPD! The following takes place between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. <laughs> Big on this one, yeah, you ready? Of course I'm ready. Freezer! LAPD! What audition is this for? Rice Krispies. San Crack Oh my god, I'm going wrong place. Rice Krispies? Yeah. Um, but I gotta go, but you guys are really good in the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> takes place between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. Really I'm sorry, I had a baseball back to my side. One hour late. I'm sorry. Anderson's here. I'm sorry. He's going to be in the room. You ready? All right, all right, all right. Do this. That's Louis Anderson. Yeah, that's his directing movie. I thought it was Paul Thomas Anderson. Oh. Boogie Night. <laughs> no. You don't have a Paul Thomas Anderson audition. Louis! So, Bobby, uh, you're going to be reading the scene with me. Cool. And you just start whenever you're ready. Freeze! LAPD! Freeze! LAPD! This 
Is this is what we yeah. want you to see. Sure. Don't show Officer. Oh. Officer Mike. In person. Right. Right. This, is, this is it. Oh, my God. Am I in order? This is Bobby, is this your thing? Oh, okay. Is this your... That's my Dude. outfit. That's my outfit. I'll tell you that right now. What? Great outfit. You look wow. great. I love your outfit. That's so funny. You told me to wear this. You look hilarious. Dude. <laughs> the LAPD didn't like that. <laughs> John, you can stick around, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So. Am I interrupting? No, we're done. Are you okay? Thank you. Bob. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Bob. Thank you, Bob. George Clooney, award winning actor, writer, director. The critics agree with films like Syriana and Good Night and Good Luck. Clooney is indeed Hollywood's man of the year. He has the golden touch, says the New Yorker. His work is unparalleled, raves the Washington Post. And now, for the first time ever, some of George Clooney's finest works are available on DVD. Return to Horror High. Return of the Killer Tomatoes. Grizzly 2. Murder, she wrote, episode number 318. No laughing murder. The Facts of Life. Episode number 708, Tootie's Christmas Wish. And episode number 811, Come Back to the Truck Stop, Natalie Green. <laughs> the Clooney Collection. Send 1995 to the Vinda Bona Residence. 15239 Magnolia Boulevard, Unit J, Sherman Oaks, California, 91403. I'm proud to finally be working with my lovely wife. And I'm proud to be working at all. I'm Connie Chung. And I'm Maury Povich. And I'm proud to finally be working with my lovely wife. And I'm proud to be working at all. <laughs> Our goal is to bring you a hard-hitting news program that isn't slanted. No offense, honey. None taken. <laughs> Give me some sugar. Forgive us, we just spent a clothing optional weekend in Baja. Did we ever? We renewed our vows, drank peach tequinis, and got lost in each other's lips. <laughs> but we turn now to the war in Iraq. Is progress really being made? <laughs> For perspective, we turn to Master Sergeant Greg McGraw, who is stationed outside of Tikrit. Are you there, Sergeant? Yes, I am. Can you hear us? Yes, I, I can, but we're kind of under some unstable conditions here. So can you see us? No, ma'am, we don't have that capability here. Well, then I'll describe what I'm wearing. It's a decan Y faux suede suit, an Ann Taylor skirt, and some fun go-go boots I got at Limited Express. Um, I'm sure you look very pretty. She looks fan-freaking-tastic. And she smells good, too. Like baby powder and Chinese chicken salad. <laughs> Thank you, soldier. And good news, you are not the baby's father. What? I, don't, I don't understand what that means. I'm not Global really warming! It's a serious issue, and that's why I'm making a serious face. <laughs> the United States has been bombarded by dozens of natural disasters. Are they the results of global warming? We turn now to National Weather Advisory President Francine Martino. Hello, Connie. Hello, Maury. If that's a come on, I'm not taking it. Because I'm in love with my wife. And I'm in love with my husband. And we're both in love with Bath and Body Works mango scented massage oil. You might get pimples, but it's worth it. <laughs> Back to global warming. Is it the real deal? Well, Connie, weather events will always result from a combination of factors. Excuse me? 
What? Exactly. <laughs> Indeed. I'm sorry, I. What's going... your point? Uh, well, my point is. Thank you, Francine, have... but that's all the time we have. <laughs> and congratulations, you are also not the baby's father. <laughs> Say, Connie, here's a weather report. I'm getting hot and humid for you. Then hold on, because there's some warm winds coming up from China. <laughs> we'll be right back. Come here, beautiful. What's going on? Oh, dude, you gotta help me out. Listen, I gotta do this bit with Bobby Lee, uh -huh. but he took off and I can't find him. Will you do this bit with me what, real quick? What, what, what happened to Bobby? I don't know. He, he's pissed off. Some Asian actor screwed him out of some part in an audition for a movie or something, and he's mad and he left. Like that was me. It's okay. Uh, listen, can you do this bit with me? Do you mind doing this bit? Uh, what do you want me to do, man? Okay, well, see, Bobby Lee does this character named Bay Song, and he's a translator. It's gonna be so simple. You just run up there. No one's gonna know the difference, and you'll, you'll be all set. Uh, no, no, no. It's 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 so simple. Okay, basically, you're just gonna throw this wig on. Okay, like this. Just get this on there. A lot, a lot of hair there, John. So you're gonna go on there, and basically, I'm gonna bring you on, and then all you gotta do, all you gotta do is you gotta speak like gibberish, and yeah. then at the very end, you go. Uh-oh, hot dog. <laughs> try it, try it real quick. Uh-oh, hot dog. Uh, horrible. Uh-oh, uh hot dog. Uh-oh, hot dog. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ike Barinholtz. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, so uh, we found out this week that Mad TV is now being broadcast in China, of all places. <laughs> So basically, uh, what we did is we hired a translator, and uh, he's gonna kind of come out and uh, help me out so we can make the Chinese audience feel at home. So please welcome the translator, Bai Sung. Please, Bai Sung. Oh, hello, Bai. Hello, hello. Hey. Thank you. Okay, so from all of us here at Mad TV, I'd like to say hello to all of our fans in China. Oh no, hamburger! Oh my god. <laughs> You get out of here, Cho! Hey, Bobby, I'm sorry. It's Ike asked me to do this. Shut here. up! <laughs> Shut up, Cho! All right? I bring honor and pride and integrity to my work. I'm an artist, right?
Skipper Riverboat Casino is proud to present Hello, Hollywood, Hello! Teacher had Fred and Lucy had Ricky Jessica had Nick before things got icky Brittany has Kevin and he sure can dance Everybody loves a Hollywood Tyler Matsumoto Jr., and this is my lovely wife, Candy Crystal Dish. <laughs> That's right. We're just like Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore. Except he's 33 and I'm 93. Boom! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oops, not real. Not real. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what. There's a horse looking for his tail somewhere. <laughs> Let's go. Boom! One. Woo! We're going to transform right before your eyes into famous Hollywood couples. Yes, that's right. Last night, we performed a tribute to famous Disney couples. That's right. He was the beauty and I was the beast. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tonight, by popular demand, we would like to do our tribute to famous Hollywood couples whose husbands have met with horrible deaths. <laughs> Starting with my favorite, Sonny and Cher. Well, we were married on the seventh day that we got a divorce. And I skied into a tree. Oh, yes, he did. Hey! Hey! It's just, just you, you and me, me baby. Watch out for that tree, baby. Watch out for that tree. Gosh, Candy, when you're in the spotlight, it's sure hard to be married. Yeah, especially when your husband's gay. <laughs> I'm not gay, but I wouldn't kick Orlando Bloom out of the bed. Oh. Or Heath Ledger. Or Jude Law. Oh. Dennis Quaid. Okay, the Green Bay that's Packers. Enough, that's enough, that's enough. You, sir, no, that, Okay, away. they got it. They got it, Tyler. That's enough, baby. Okay. You know what, folks? They say love is blind. And that's certainly true for who we are now. <laughs> Hello, mates. Me name is John Lennon. And this here is me soulmate, Joko. I love you, Dad. I want to write song for you. I want to sing in the band. Imagine that. Imagine if I never met you. The Beatles will still be around. That's true, they would. I wouldn't have had to have to hear you sing and listen to that horrible sound. is we're going to fast forward to a Seattle coffee shop. I'm Kurt, Kurt Cobain, and I wear this army jacket because I'm grungy. And my name's Courtney, Courtney Love. Mm, I'm smearing my lipstick because I'm trouble. Let's take drugs and make music. enjoyed our salute to famous Hollywood couples whose husbands have met with horrible deaths. Right now we'll be performing our salute to people who died naked on the toilet. <laughs> Woo, that's right, let's go! <laughs> Astro Band 
versus Killbrain. I said no whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> I said no whipped cream. <laughs> Why, hello, Astro Band. Well, well, well. Killbrain the Fury, Lord of the Dark, my arch nemesis. I ordered that drink without whipped cream. Oh, what's this? Are we afraid of a few extra calories? I can almost see your love handles about to burst out of your Lycra super suit. That's so, man. <laughs> At least I'm not stuck at Starbucks making drinks. There's nothing demeaning about working here. I am Killbrain the Fury. Killbrain! Give that guy his drink and then clean up the milk scum on the coffee island. I'm, I'm sorry, Debbie. Right, right away, Debbie. <laughs> Oh, you enjoyed that, didn't you, Astro Man? Watching a diminutive teenager hand me my ass in a sling. <laughs> well, here's your drink. By the way, I used half and half. <laughs> you know I'm on a diet. I'm not paying for this. Uh, Debbie? Debbie? No, 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 don't do, don't do that. I'll, I'll, I'll make you another one. Gas flow pan. Gas flow pan, Debbie. Making a word? It, making it. Thank you. <laughs> but rest assured, Astro Man, as soon as I'm done making this specialty drink, I'm going to exterminate you and your girlfriend, Marianne. Whoa, 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 whoa. Marianne is not my girlfriend. What if I call Marianne right now and ask her why you're not boyfriend and girlfriend? <laughs> I'll do it on my T-Mobile sidekick with illuminated keys. No. Don't. <laughs> Who's in control now? Killbrain! I thought I told you to wipe down the coffee island. I'm, I'm sorry, Debbie. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> Astro Man and I were just catching up. Now go organize those stirrers. Is that a new bionic arm, Killbrain? It has other uses more important than this, thank you. Gotta make the sound effects yourself, huh? For now, it's a prototype. <laughs> At least I don't have a problem with commitment. Killbrain! What are you doing? I, I'm, I'm, I'm restocking the st straws. No, you're mixing the coffee stirrers and the straws. Screw it up again and you're fired. So, Kilbrain, why don't you have a gal? Oh, I knew this was coming. I was dating this one girl named Carol, and it ended so poorly, I, I considered blocking her on my T-Mobile sidekick with picture-taking capabilities. Anyway, I could... This is not about me, this is about you, and I'm gonna call Marianne. Kilbrain, I would not do that if I were you. What, what, what does that mean? Why, why? This is the last straw. Oh, straws! No! Straws! <laughs> oh, my work! My straws! My stirrers! <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna call Carol and have a laugh with her about your milky white eye. <laughs> See you later, jerkhead. <laughs> You've won this round, Astro Man! But beware, I have a friend that can get me a job at Lady Footlocker! Hi, my name is Stephen Craig, and I'm a writer on Mad TV. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I have done absolutely nothing to help my community. I have done even less for my community than George Bush. Oh, no, you didn't! Oh, you're going to get in trouble, homie! But seriously, seriously, I wanted to do something that would really benefit my community. So I called the Los Angeles uh, Coalition for the Homeless, and they said I could come down 
and help them hand out food to those folks less fortunate than myself. Here we go. This is the place right here. Hey! Hi, are, are, are you Mr. Craig? Hi, hey, call me Steven. Call me Steven. Are you Terry? I, I am. Hey, hey everybody, this is Terry Osler. And uh, I talked to her on the phone, and uh, she runs the shelter and everything. Hey, Terry, check this out. I, I brought pizzas. Oh, that, that's great. Uh, why are you wearing a hazardous material suit? Well, I'm going to be handing out, you know, food to people who live on the street. You know, no offense, <laughs> but at the end of the day, I don't want to go home with the, uh, the bird flu or the super aids. <laughs> You'll be wearing plastic gloves. No, sweetheart, I'll be wearing this. <laughs> well, you are not handing out food dressed like that. Okay, you know what? Fine, Terry, fine. Then I'm out of here. Bang! Snap. Well, can we have the pizzas? No, you can't have the pizzas. If you're not going to allow me to hand out the pizzas in a hazmat suit, you don't get the pizzas. So go tell that to the bums. I got pizza yeah, for you, know you but this I lady will let you have it. I got Hawaiian, I got ham and pineapple, I got all sorts. The bitch here won't let you have it in the sweater. <laughs> Well, that woman was a witch. Now, you know what? I don't need her. I can hand out these pizzas myself. Look, I found a little guy over there, a little sad little guy over there. I'm gonna give pizzas to. Hey. Hey. Here you are, little homeless guy. What the f is this? It's, it's a pizza. Look at that. It's food for you. I, I'm not homeless, you <laughs> Okay, okay. I, my mistake. Yeah? My mistake. I just saw the clothing and I... Oh, yeah? Well, this is a $200 Dolce & Gabbana shirt. <laughs> These are diesel jeans. They're giving me by my dad. You know who he is? No, oh, God. Axel Rose. That's my dad. Sweet Child of Mine is my favorite song. They're supposed to look distressed. Your dad's a handsome man. Go. Can you believe that? I mean, that's why I don't help out in the community, you know? Because they're all a bunch of psychos. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to throw out pizzas to the homeless. That's what I should have done in the first place. Okay, right up here. Here's an, here's an old bag lady right up here. There you go. Hey! Hey, here's a pizza! Oh, oh my God, is she all right? No! Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, my God. Stupid jaywalker. He, 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 did, he didn't cross at the light. He did not cross at the light. It is not my fault. My is, leg! Are you all right? My leg! Oh. You Help me, me off! Oh. Um, okay. Oh boy. Um, here I come. Here I come. All right. Here I am. Here I am. Come on. Let me help you up to the curb. There you go. Oh. There you are. There you go. Which guy threw pizza at you, man? He did it. Oh. 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 Yeah. That's it, buddy. That's it. Where's you go? There you go. Oh, you can eat it. Oh. Make sure you eat it. There you go. Oh. Well, there you go. Um, it was not a great day. But I did try my very, very best, and, um, you know, something I learned is it's very, very hard to help out your community. I'll tell you how you can help your community. Kill yourself. <laughs> Look, let's just go. Assure you, 
I have no use for you either. <laughs> my son harshly because you were abused as a child. You're a hypocrite. I just want to know why you hate me. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I hate me. Listen to me. The children need you here. You cannot close this place down. I won't let you. I won't let you. WDGX reporter Mitch Ruffin here on the streets of Detroit talking to people about what stories matter to them. The movies. <laughs> oh, excuse me, ma'am. Do you care to comment about the upcoming Oscar race? Oh, uh, well, uh, yes, I do. I mean, I I'll tell you who shouldn't win. It's that Philip Seymour Hoffman. I, I, I just did not enjoy Capote at all. Oh, okay. Did you think um, <laughs> you didn't like Capote at all? No, I mean, I, I just, I simply didn't enjoy it. Well, I disagree. I have, to, I have to give my own personal disagreeance on that one in this particular matter. Great, great. You again. <laughs> yeah, you again. Yeah. Yeah. No, for me personally, I got to tell you, for me, I love Capote. Capote was a good-ass movie to me, man. I thought it was good. So I personally would say that Capote was, um, let's see, dare I say, what are the words that I'm looking for? Uh, crazy hair! It was crazy! Capote was crazy hair! It was crazy. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for yeah. your comment. Oh, and thank you, and thank you for your comment. Thank well, you. Wait, thank you, <laughs> sir. Uh, sir, sir, hello. hello. So do you care to comment about the uh, Oscars this year? Any any of your picks for Oscars? Uh, a cinematic event that did draw me to the theater was the remake of King Kong. Actually. King Kong, no! Hey. King Kong! That monkey was crazy as hell! That monkey was crazy! He was trying to decide the beauty in there, and he was just picking up white ladies and throwing them around like peanut shell. It was crazy! He was just walking up to blind chicks and picking up, you ain't her, what? You ain't her, what? You ain't her, ah! It was crazy as hell! It was crazy as And then the monkey, the monkey was in Central Park, y'all! It was pandemonium 1933, and he was walking around Central Park, and then <laughs> the monkey, the monkey was on the ice. <laughs> he was walking around the ice, and he's all big. <laughs> the monkey couldn't get his foot in. <laughs> he was sliding around, he fell out on his belly. <laughs> Lady was on his back. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! That was really cute. It was really cute. Man. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for for everything. Anyways, a lot of the other uh, early favorites. Walk the line! I forgot about walking the line! If you want to win an Oscar, y'all, then what you got to do is be a dead singer. That's how you win an Oscar, man. Walk the line is just like Ray for white people. That's all it is. Ray Charles be talking about, uh, uh, and then Johnny Cash be talking about, Perfect hell, so them be a little wrong. It's a thing, over. It's a thing, man. They're both talking about, 
I'm gonna do some drugs and then sing a song. And I'm gonna do some drugs and I'm gonna sing a song. I'm gonna do some drugs and sing a song. It's, it's the same formula, y'all. It's the same formula. The formula is the same. <laughs> you can't change the formula. You can't change the formula. It's crazy. Oh, and then after that, after that, I ain't gonna lie to you. I had snuck into Humpback Valley. That's a good movie. Girls back mountain. That's right, yeah. Bend over mountain. That's what I saw. It was crazy. I went up in there, right? See, because what was happening? What happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. I had gone into the Cineplex myself, right? Because I was going to walk up in there and see Cheap Advisor Dozen pop dose. You know, because I was wondering about five or six of them kids. Wanna know what was going to happen to them. You know, that kind of thing. So I walk up in that movie, but then I had heard the sound of two dudes kissing, right? So I said, what? I got to check that out. You know, I got to check that out. So I walked up in there, man. And I sat down in the seat, y'all. I was not prepared for what I was about to witness, y'all. Okay? But I sat in that seat. And I watched that movie. I watched that movie four times in a row. Because, because. Because, because them, them guys was in love, y'all. But society gonna try to push them apart. <laughs> Crazy as hell. It was, it was, it was pandemonium. It was crazy. But Crack River, y'all see it's it. It's called Growth Back Mountain. Get the hell out of here. Anyways, this is Mitch Ruffin for. Say, seriously, say another word. I'm gonna punch your lights out. I'm sick of you ruining my important news stories. Not one word. This is Mitch Ruffin for WT. Good night and good luck. <laughs> Everybody has to move off of Sesame Street. Why? Because I sold it. The real estate market is through the roof. Bobby and I are going to go see all five of the movies that are nominated for Best Picture. This movie is so boring. Shut up, Jessica. Mraz is about to sing. La, 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 la. This is where I live. Hey, Bird, what's going on? These guys are taking away my home. Why, is it dirty? Well, of course it is. I do everything in here. <laughs> but that's no reason to take away my home. Oh, here comes Gordon. He'll stop them. Hey, kids, Bird, what is going on? These guys are taking away my home. Oh, don't feel bad about it, Bird. Everybody has to move off of Sesame Street. Huh? Why? Because I sold it. The real estate market is through the roof. Um, I didn't even realize that you owned Sesame Street, Gordon. Sure. My grandpa bought up all of Sesame Street back when it was colors only. So, I'm afraid you have to pack up your bags. Just the way things are. H is for homeless. We'll be living in a car. M stands for move it. And U is for you haul. Look out, kids, here comes a wrecking ball. <laughs> oh, hey, Bert. Looks like we gotta find a new place to live. We? What do you mean, we? I'm moving into Grover's place in Chelsea. Oh, uh. Room for one more? No, it's a studio. We're going to be on top of each other as it is. <laughs> I thought we were, you know, together. We were, out of convenience. You had this sweet rent-controlled brownstone? Well, now it's gone, and so am I. See ya! Wait, don't forget your paperclip collection! 
Oh, my ducky, we're alone. Now this is a broken home. <gasps> Literally. Wow. My head is killing me. Don't worry, old friend. We'll get you some aspirin. I got some Vicodin. <laughs> Sorry about your friend here. He didn't cross the line. Who are you? Hey, kids. This is my new friend, Donald Trump. He's the real estate developer that's tearing down your homes. I'm going to build the most magnificent, opulent, luxurious, lavish, extravagant Starbucks ever known to man. But now we have nowhere to live. And you're already a millionaire. Billionaire bird. care if somebody falls victim if someone's in the gutter or kick them just to get their cash take it hair yes he whether it's greenbacks or doubloons or shekels i'm on it like salt on a pretzel yes, yes he i love Boy, oh boy, what can't he do? Oh, I almost forgot. I have to give this eviction notice to Luis at his mail it shop. <laughs> oh, oh, that crazy Puerto Rican shot me. Kids, get out of here. Luis has gone crazy. <laughs> Sesame Street is brought to you by the registered letter informing you that your property's been sold to a thatch-haired real estate mogul. <laughs> Seriously, you're ruining the move. Uh, Seriously, shut up, man. Shut up. Seriously. No, no, no. <laughs> be quiet, all right? Look, I'm going to break your face. Oh, you're going to break uh, my face. Hey, I was looking at you, kid. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Bobby. And it is the day before the Oscars, and uh, Bobby and I are going to go see all five of the movies that are nominated for Best Picture. I have uh, not seen any. Have you seen any of the movies? Uh, the only movie I saw was a movie called Mariato Ashinku, about two Japanese boys who shoot uh, gold coins out of their fingers. OK. It's a... Well, what we're going to do now is see all five of them in one fell swoop. But we can't. Take my car because it's out of gas. I don't know where mine is. Okay. That's the problem. Excuse me, sir. Hey, hey man, up? what's up, bro? How you doing? Hey, whose car is this? Oh, this beautiful Toyota Yaris right yeah, here. Whatever. This is Al Pacino's. Al Pacino. Mm -hmm. What's he doing on this lot? Oh, he's doing a guest set on that. So Raven. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, well, we work on that. So Raven. Raven. Oh, I'm really? I'm a stylist. Oh, we cool, were told cool. to take Mr. Pacino's car and get it washed and waxed. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, that's gonna save me a lot of time. Oh today, man, guys. there you go, man. Oh, that's great. You take man. five. Get a sandwich or something. Cool, man. All right. Oh, hey, and I love that so raven, man. So, so great. We, we yeah. love that. Oh, thanks, man. Tell them we said hoo ah, hoo ah. Yeah, man. Let's see a movie at the Cinerama Dome. No, there's too many white people at the dome. Oh. Let's go here. Grauman's Chinese, baby. No, no, no. Too many Asian people. I, I get uncomfortable. <laughs> It's capote. I'm, I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to put your Yaris in a lot. I'll okay. have some chicken McNuggets. <laughs> a lot. Move it into the lot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. nice, dude. The whole theater to ourselves. That's never, ever happened to me before. I know, buddy. This is great. Bobby, what are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. You're in. <laughs> What are you doing? No, 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 no. No, no. Come on, come on. It's really cold in the 
Chicago gangsters. No, that's Capone. This is Capota. I'll start this movie. I hate this movie. Whoa! What? What is that? Mario! Sometimes I get morning wood. It's two in the afternoon, Bobby. I get afternoon wood. Bobby, stop getting aroused. Okay, grandma, grandma, grandma. It's getting bigger, Bobby. Oh, no. Color! Color! Wake up up there! I'm sorry, you cannot smoke in the theater. That's funny. <laughs> Seriously. I think that's kind of hypocritical, as in they're smoking on screen. Yeah. This is a movie. This, you, you, you I thought the rule is if one person smokes, you can all smoke. That's absolutely not. You, make you, me leave. Make us leave. Chopstick, I will make Chopstick. you leave. Chopstick, what? We'll just let us slide. Don't, do, don't tell anyone, please. What is mm. that? What do you mean? Oh, my God, Bobby, why again? I can't deny George Clooney is cute in this movie. Oh, I'm so cool. He will leave my butt. about a man who didn't know when... So how? Uncomfortable, uncomfortable, Stop, guys, stop. Get him, get him, get him, get him. That's my friend. That's my friend. Get off of me. Bobby, Bobby. Not the face, not the face. I'm on TV, I'm on TV. This is a public place. You have to show some respect for the other patrons. I respect your job. It's really hot in there. I sweat. I'm a sweater. You make complaints. Oh, you want some more food? You got shot, bitch. Keep out of here. I'll get you safe, little buddy. I'm gonna get you safe. The Coast Guard found a dolphin in the ocean that had totally gotten its nose trapped. Raz, um, what's your song gonna be about? Well, he was just a little fishy swimming in the big blue one got caught up in some packaging of six Mountain Dews. The surf is awesome and the drama is everywhere. It's a beautiful day today, but this morning, the Coast Guard found a dolphin in the ocean that had totally gotten its nose trapped in one of those plastic soda can holders. It's totally tragical. So some of us are getting together today to plan a benefit concert for the dolphin. So much drama. You guys, this 
is gonna be so awesome, but we have to work really, really hard. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge $50 a person, and Talon's gonna sing a song, and then that really cute guy that's new in school is gonna sing a song. Oh my god, Mraz, he's so cute. Oh, I don't know you guys, 50 bucks a person? Jessica! Jessica, you spend that every week on like a manicure, Jessica. Uh, I do not, whore. Hello? Jessica, stop being such a bitch, Jessica. What? I'm sorry. Well, hang on, I'm getting another phone call. Hello? Kristen, quit it with the drama. You guys are being drama nerds. Now let's get to work. All right, you guys, you know what? We have to make these flyers. Ugh. This. I made a fake ID once, but I just drew it. Jessica, what is the hell with right now? I don't know. It's just probably out of batteries, you guys. Jessica, 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 you're gonna break it. Jessica, 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 Jessica. What's wrong with these? It doesn't even work. God. Maybe they're broken. Probably. You guys, I'm like, I'm about to like pass out from all this drama. Mm. Oh my god, look. Oh, yeah. wow. yes. oh, oh god. we are such good people, you guys. Oh, such good people, Jessica. Yeah, and you know what, guys? Like, seriously, like, we're really humble about it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you make me feel like I belong. That's why I'm singing you this song. I want to ride you like a wave all night long. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm a really good person for doing this. <laughs> hey, you guys, why aren't there more people here? I know. We spent all day putting up those two flyers. What the hell? Totally. Good Bye, job, Talon. Talon. Thank you. Hey, Jessica, I brought these for the dolphin. Oh, Jason, you're so sweet. Jessica! Jessica, what did I tell you? Jessica, he's a jerk! Yeah. Jessica! He's oh, a jerk shut up! Flower. Shut up, Jessica, Mraz is about to sing. La, 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 da. Mmm, subi de ba boom boom we are. Well, he was just a little fishy swimming in the big blue one, got caught up in some packaging of six Mountain Dews. His plastic in the plastic, this is serious with the period, not a comma. Oh, this is so much drama. Yeah, the purpose is the porpoise, and we gotta put our heads together for this to set this dolphin free. Yeah. Yeah, the purpose is the purpose, and we gotta move faster than a tortoise, or else he will become the chicken of the sea. Yeah, the chicken, the sticking, the scheming, the beaming, the swimming, the trimming, the dreaming, the scene in me, B, C, T, top, flop, hip hop, sippity bop, mm -mm, dolphin. Raz, that was so awesome. So, um, so do you want to go out sometime? No, I was going to ask him out slut. No, I was going to ask him out slut, slut. Jessica, you're going out with me because of my awesome little beard. You know what? You're all a little too dramatic for me. Your negative attitudes penetrate the atmosphere with disease. I think I'm going to go check on the dolphin. See you. Wait, what did he just say? I don't know, but I'm totally trying to picture him naked with a cowboy hat. I'm going after him. Me too. Me three. What? Wait for me, guys. Jessica? Jessica? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jennifer Aniston, stalker Marvin Tikva. <laughs> Are you doing good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm freaking horrible. Look. Dick Cheney shot me in the face. He said he mistook me for a wild boar. Hey, but I'm not here to talk just about me. I'm here to 
tell you that I'm going to announce we're in the final stages of my search for a star, as any of you all know. I had people at home send in their tapes of themselves, and through the magic of technology, I've been able to put them through a little Q&A. I would have preferred a TNA. <laughs> but let's watch, shall we? Let's watch. Where are you from, cowboy? The panhandle of Texas and Amarillo is not exactly a hotbed of getting discovered. You're right. The panhandle of Texas is not a hotbed for getting discovered. It's really only a hotbed for dragging homosexuals from the back of your pickup. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't think I can help you. Next. Hi, I'm Coconut. Did you say his name was Coconut? <laughs> Sir, I'd like... Hey, you stop that for a second. I want to talk to you. I got a couple questions for you. Sir, can anyone see? Is he, is he bagging his, his testicles or his... <laughs> Coconut? Where are you, Coconut? Are you on the grounds of a mental hospital? <laughs> can I take, you cut his feet, please? Let's cut that feet. I, it's about all I can take of Coconut. Uh, what do we got next? Wow. One or two minutes. Doesn't seem like a lot of time to explain why I should be a star. Especially since I have a cold right now. Terrific! Now this girl's obviously an actress. She knows how to come into a room. Enter bitching! <laughs> uh, Alright, who else we got? I'm a star because my mom says so. Bobby Lee, you're already on the show! Come on! Next! This is Mike Sergo. 27 years old and I'm from Chicago. I'm getting a funny feeling about you. Are you by any chance on any kind of drug? <laughs> okay, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Listen, Mike, again, as your manager, I need you to be very honest with me. Now, are you into the cocaine? Because if you are, I, I don't know what I can do for you. I'm sorry. I want you to show me your stash of cocaine, Mike. I don't know. I guess in Chicago, you know, it's a it's a rough and tumble town. You could just have your cocaine delivered in piles outside of the place of business. Next. Hello, Mr. Tikva. This is Moses Maya. Well, hi, Moses. You're starting off on a good foot. I love anyone named after a famous Jew. <laughs> now, listen, Moses, you got to help me out here. Everyone has been going down in flames. Convince me, why should I take you on and turn you into a star? What's so great about you? I've got star quality, and I'm not afraid of the casting couch. Just ask Mike Barinholtz. Mike Barinholtz? My goodness, I hope you got a year's supply of penicillin. <laughs> Talk about sleeping your way to the bottom. But I did have to pick a winner, and ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner here tonight. His name is Moses Amaya. Let's welcome him out. Come on out, Moses. Thank you. So, Moses, tell me, um, you excited? Yeah, totally. I mean, I, I want to know why you even picked me, you know? <laughs> you live closest to the studio, all right? You <laughs> live about five miles away. We didn't even have to pay for an air fare. I didn't even have to pay for a cab. I think you walked. <laughs> right. Do you appreciate you live here in town in I Los just, Angeles? Yeah, I just live literally like a mile from here. Perfect. So. See, yeah, because, you know, this is not, you know, this is a cheap show. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> all right. But we're not too cheap, Moses. I've got for you a little gift basket as the first prize for right. you. This is all Mad TV memorabilia. That cool. We've got T-shirts. We've got the best of DVDs, which you can buy at madtv.com. <laughs> and uh, we got a side cast photo, all kinds of fun stuff. Great. And um, also, most I'm going mm. to tell you right now, you're, as the main part of your prize, you are going to be in a sketch here on Mad TV. So congratulations. <laughs> Kristen from Laguna Beach, the real OC on MTV. <laughs> Thank you, I know, it's totally cool. Um, but there's someone here even cooler than me. Um, and uh, I know it's hard to imagine, but I have a total crush on him because he's an awesome musician and an even greater guy. Everybody, put your hands together for the one, the only, Jason Moran! What time is it, y'all? the pain.
game, take a stab at it. If you like the way I'm thinking, baby, wink at it. I may be skinny at time, but I'm fast with the rhymes. Pass me the mic and I'm gonna grab at it. And isn't it delicious, crazy way that I'm kissing this baby? Listen to this, don't wanna miss it while I'm sitting. Uh, sometimes you got to fit in to get in, so don't ever quit, cause soon they're gonna let you in. See, well, I don't care what you think about me. to bother nobody keep it automatic just to buy multiple shots at her cause she fall in love too often that's what's the matter at least i'm talking about and keep my pattern no battery in her. she was staring through the door frame and i me down like already a bad boyfriend well she can get the toys out of the drawer then cause i ain't coming home i don't need that attention see i don't care what she thinks about me Freeman. <laughs> Everyone knows the story of Jackie Robinson, the man who broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball. Every African American owes him a debt of gratitude, especially Barry Bonds. If it wasn't for Jackie Robinson, this pumped up Jaguar would be cutting hair on 54th Street. <laughs> but I digress. 
Everyone knows the great Jackie, but few remember another black sports hero. Aloysius Buster Washington. <laughs> the man who smashed the color barrier in water polo. Buster had a distinguished career in the water polo Negro Leagues, playing with such teams as the Selma Chocolate Clowns, the Washington Welfare Kings, and of course, the Asheville Ashy Elders. Because of racism, the Negro Leagues were denied access to proper facilities. Teams would practice in shallow creeks and muddy ponds. Here, we see Buster and his fellow chocolate clowns practicing in a puddle. Then one day in 1961, Buster met the man who would change his life. Hyman Kleiman, <laughs> the owner of the Los Angeles Finns of Major League Water Polo. Rejecting the racism of the day, Hyman Kleiman heroically signed Buster Washington to a one-game contract. March 15th, 1961, the Ides of March. The L.A. Finns were in a tight battle with the San Francisco Seals. They needed a score. Buster Washington was called off the bench. This great moment in black sports history was diminished only by the fact that Buster Washington had never been in water above his knees. So, much to the amusement of the crowd, after flailing around for a couple of hours, Buster drowned. But he had already changed history. He had opened the door for hundreds of other black water polo players to also drag. I'm Morgan Freeman. This has been a Black History Minute. Goodbye. say something right now to my fellow African Americans right now in the audience in the in the home audience the studio audience I just want to talk to y'all nah nah if you ain't black seriously you could just cover your ears or something or your eyes or something just look away if you at home I don't know maybe there's another uh, episode of curbs your enthusiasm on you just turn to that that's all right uh because I need to talk to you for a while for a second are we good are we doing it and we are good sisters take these cameras all right, listen up, brothers and sisters. I only have one minute, so let's get right down to it, okay? Things are going exactly according to plan, all right? Black people now run America. <laughs> yo, yo, white people still think that we are poor, all right? They think we poorer than ever, all right? But as you can clearly see, our brothers and sisters in the NBA, NFL, fashion, video games, and the hip-hop industries have amassed a fortune upwards of $90 trillion, all right? Now, that's enough to buy every white person a boat and send them back to Europe, okay? Yeah. All right. And that leads me to the very important matter of Black President 2009. Okay? Now, we're gonna act like Barack Obama's gonna run, all right? But remember, that's just a decoy, all right? While Whitey's distracted, that's when we're gonna slip in the Ice Cube nomination. <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, okay man, we're gonna be I'm back on the air in five. 
And furthermore, Four, we can take three, the next two, one. Oh, the white people are back, y'all! <laughs> yeah, nah, 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 don't worry, don't worry, y'all. We, we, we was just rapping about grape soda and weed. Uh. <laughs> oh, we got a great show tonight, yo. Let's get this party started! <laughs> Jeff! Survivor Pro! I'm so excited. My first crump lesson. Pum, 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 pum. Ike and Bobby go out with Arden and Kristen. Thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Lillian Burger Game Show! You want to win the hokiest, cornballiest plastic gifts that break when you look at them? <laughs> Today's show is sponsored by the Lillian Verner catalog, filled with such gifts as these USA pants. <laughs> Put on your patriotic pajamas. Just be sure to take them off before you visit Iran or they'll set you on fire. <laughs> and now, here's the host of our show, Jeff Probst. Hey, everybody. Yes, Jimmy. Survivor Pros. What the f are you doing here? <laughs> you don't belong on this show. You have money and fame and a reason to live. I am in an SM relationship with the producer of this show and her husband. I am their slave. And they have ordered me to be the host. Well, Jeff, I'm not into leather. I'm into hugs. <laughs> Let's introduce the contestants. They are all returning champions. <laughs> Rudolph Kuzler, it says here on the card, last time you were on this show was eight years ago, and it looks like you're still into the Smurfs. What's that say? Can I, <laughs> can I Smurf all over your Smurf? <laughs> <laughs> to that mic there, buddy. Yeah, it's all right. Annetta Bustler. Looks like uh, you've brought along a friend. <laughs> Annetta? Hey, Tio Gross! You're hot! Thanks, Miss Tickles. Tickles, that's a little inappropriate. <laughs> hey, Tio! When I watch Survivor, I run myself so hard, I get yeah. That lady's baby is horny. <laughs> Dominic Sandy says here you are a giant looking for love. <laughs> Up here. <laughs> um, yeah, I was married, but I became a widow when I made love to my wife on our wedding night. <laughs> As a impressive. There's a downside. What is it? Well, buying a condom at a glad bag factory. Come on, my NyQuil and ecstasy is wearing off. Shop, shop, let's get the train moving. All of our contestants will buzz in their answers using their Jeff Foxworthy bobbleheads. Here's such expressions as, you know you're a redneck if your kitchen table doubles as a wake bench. <laughs> Get her done! <laughs> Simeon is going to show you a product, and you need to tell us what it is. <laughs> I sure know how to do this. <laughs> Just like what happened on my wedding night. You just might be a redneck if you stir soup with a shotgun. Yes, Rudolph Puzzler. Are you back there to the I told you to back off that mother scratching mic, bro. Now, what's your answer? The brass sack you trade up for the freight to sheen and scratch a treat and tease? 
You just might be a redneck if all you gave your daughter for Christmas was hickeys. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy is the funniest man in America! Ho, 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 Green Giant, yes. Is the correct answer the Lillian Werner uh, rocket balloon? That's correct, Sasquatch! <laughs> Let's get to round two, shall we? Simeon is going to wear a Lillian Werner product, and you have to tell us what it is! <laughs> You're a redneck if you've ever tied your beard to someone else's beard. Yes, Annette Bustler. Hey, Jeff, I've already got one hand up my ass. Come on over here and give me another. You're a redneck if you're into gay bashing. Yes, uh, B5 Fo Fum. Is the correct answer the Lillian Werner lighted brain helmet? Congratulations! <laughs> oh, Bigfoot's gonna blow! <laughs> hey, Simeon, tell Shrek what he's won. Congratulations! You won a fartacopia of fart novelty items, including the fart monkey, the fart keychain, the fart whistle, the fart powder, fart candy, and the Zen book of farting, and a bonus, the fart institution of the United Farts of America Fartica. And now, here's Jeff Probst to say the tribe has spoken. No, I'm not saying that. That's a different show, Simeon. All right. Well, then say, you're fired. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm not saying that either. That's another show. Well, then say, what you're talking about, Willis? Come on, give us something for our nickel probes. <laughs> I got something for you, Simeon. Jeff Probst, out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, baby. Cry out, baby. Go cry out. I'm doing this movie. It, it's a comedy. No, 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 no. Crump ain't funny. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mike. And I'm Bobby. Bonjour. And uh, what we're going to do tonight is we have a couple cast members that are kind of new to the show. Krista Flanagan, Flanagan and, and Arden Murian. Arden Murian. 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 And uh, basically, because they're new on the show, we're going to take them out for a Hollywood night. Hollywood style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're going to have show them a good time. We're going to have show them a really we know good Hollywood. time. We know how to have fun. So yeah. this is Ike and Bobby go out with Arden and Krista. Ladies. Let's do this, girls. Oh. Hello. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, man? Hey. How are you doing, bro? I thought you guys... Oh, man, just chilling. I thought you guys rented a limo. It's a Toyota Yaris. Which Is belongs to Sir Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Another celebrity. Yeah. Very exciting. You guys said you had a driver, too. This is your brother. That's racist. He is my brother, though. Yeah. Can you go get a bottle of water? Right there, over there. Yeah, yeah, right there. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. Right. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Let's go right now. You gotta drive. You have to drive. Wait, you, you drive. What? You have to drive. You have to drive. DUI. I have DUI. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why can't you drive? I'm Asian. I can't drive. <laughs> this is it. This is where we're going right here. What is this place? We're going to a hot spot. I said hot wings. What do you think? <laughs> to blow your mind. Best chicken wings in the universe. Great, we'll get that. Hey, guys. Hi. 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 Hi
grew up out here? I'm from none your business. <laughs> Working on the film date movie was a great experience. I loved to dance, but the hardest part was learning to crump. Okay, here we are at the dance studio. I'm so excited for my first crump lesson. Come on. Hi, I'm Allison. Oh, what's up? Okay, okay, I'm Noodles. This is Nippy. Oh, you famous. You famous. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. You that bitch from American Pie. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was an American pie, but, but I'm not a bitch. It's okay. I recognize her right off. She that band camp girl who stuck that flute in a cooch. <laughs> she a great actress. All right, ready? Two, three, four. Pum, 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 Oh, you guys are funny. They were not funny. <laughs> Crumpin' is not a dance. Crumpin' is the breath I breathe. Crumpin' is a way to get all the fuss chasings you got wrapped up inside of you out. Oh, oh well, I, I don't really know what you mean by fustation. That's all right. That's all right. You're going to pick it up in just a second, all right? All right, check this out. Oh. 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 Apparently, crumping looks a lot like an elbow to the face. It's your turn. Come on. You do it with me. You crump with me. You know, I, I don't know if this is quite right, because uh, I'm doing this movie. And... Yeah, yeah, we know. Date rape movie. Oh, no, no. No, it's called date movie. There's really no rape. No rape? <laughs> well, well, okay, anyway, it's... Uh, uh, it's, um, it, it's a comedy. No, 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 no. Crump ain't funny. All right? If you want funny, go see Big Mama House too. Let me tell you something. The crump is for real, okay? You want to do you, you go do your little pretend Hollywood no, crump? Oh yeah, no, yeah, I, I get don't it. want it to be. Oh pretend. yeah, I know what you do. It's street. It's too street for you. Yeah, go do no, your Disney I crump. I like the street. Oh, no, do your Epcot Center crump. And I'm an actress. <laughs> it's all about taking risks sometimes. So, so I decided to just go for it. Yeah, what you gonna do? Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, I, I'm feeling 
the rhythm. You feel that? Yeah. Feel that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get in there. Yeah. Get in. Get angry. Oh. Get angry. Angry. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you just want to... Oh. Oh. Hey, that is not okay. She's all right. <laughs> I'm all right. That's the crowd. That's no, just the crowd. No. You think you're a big man had to oh, hit a girl, huh? No. Huh? You think you're all that? Well, you're nothing but a punk-ass clown. A punk-ass clown? Uh-oh, it's time to get grown. <laughs> three of his ribs, but hey, that's the crump. That's just the crump, bitch. <laughs> the Coast Guard found a doll. Here on Mad TV, I would like to uh, speak specifically to my Hispanic friends in the audience. So, hola. <laughs> to all you Mexicans, and hola. Also, to all you others who, who look Mexican, but are from Mexico type places that aren't Mexico. Let me say to you, those of you who, uh, speak Espanolish, <laughs> that you're in for a real treat tonight. Woo! Like something you might find in a piñata. <laughs> but don't, don't be swinging at each other with sticks. <laughs> the treat's right here. <laughs> and don't swing at me either. Because I will be talking the Espanolish with you the entire time. So it thrills me Nachos Belgrande <laughs> to be able to be here speakifying your language and pretending not to be afraid of you. <laughs> So let's open up El Flora and take some questiones. Uh, which, for those who aren't uh, bilingual, that's Spanish for uh, questions in quotation marks. President Bush, I think you are the best president ever. You are smart and a mucho good Spanish talker. How come you're so wonderful? Signed, George W. Bush. <laughs> Uh, you weren't supposed to read the part where I signed my name. <laughs> Non-amigo. <laughs> Next up, questione. Lady in pink. Hi, Mr. President. What Hola. is your favorite movie? What's my favorite movie? Huh? I like the new ones. Uh, the Memoirs of a Geisha. <laughs> they can make that Bobby look, Lee look pretty, can't they? <laughs> sure can make that Bobby look pretty. And even though it has the word gay in it, I'm okay with it. It's just Bobby Lee dressed as a girl. Nothing's gonna happen. I also like Brokeback Mountain. Memoirs of a Brokeback Mountain. That'd be a good movie, huh? Think about that. Got Heath Ledger and Bobby Lee. Maybe Heath Ledger's not even Heath Ledger. It's Ike Barinholtz playing Heath Ledger. Long, flowing, blonde hair. Just a beautiful man. And Bobby Lee comes in like a, a little figurine. But he's animated, you know. And he, he just comes in and he... Ike's like, what are you doing here? And then he's like, uh-oh, hot dog. muscle shirt guy? Mr. President Bush. I, I might have say, uh, if we needed some extras for that broke back memories of a geisha. Uh, not saying you have to do anything in it, just walk in the background. <laughs> I mean, if there's some, if there's like some hokey pokey going on, just maybe you walk by like, hey. <laughs> Something like that, check it out. Not too much, though. 
I was curious, what's your favorite hot dish? If I was in that movie, it'd probably be you. <laughs> we just walked into that one, didn't we? Uh, President Bush, uh, can I ask you a question in Spanish? Sure. Oh, okay. Uh, my question is, <clears throat> ¿Usted puede explicar su posición en social security con todo detalle? Eh, por ejemplo, ¿cómo beneficiará a americanos medios para tener un plan de pensiones autodirigido en comparación con la estructura actual de la pensión? Social Security. That wasn't Spanish you were speaking. And it's Social Security. Rest of it, you're speaking a foreign language like French, German, or Canadian, Afghani, or something. I, I don't know what your language is. It's a beautiful one. But it scares me a little bit. Uh... Remember, I'm your friend, and I'm also at your cerveza. <laughs> Good night on Drink Up! Look who's here, it's Lucy Liu. <laughs> Michelle Kwan. She, she's huskier in real life. <laughs> Oh, hell no, man. Let me see this man right there. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, dog. Hey, man, ain't you that dude on that show with all them jungle people running around? And you know, they be living in that dirt and eating each other? That's you, right? Yeah, man. Hell. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, what's that show called, brother? What's that show called? That's a survival. Survival. That's right. Survival. That's the show, man. That's good, man. Hey, man, that show take television up to a whole novel level, man. That's good, That's good man. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Because you remember that one time when that one dude had the tattoo and he was running around on fire? And then the girl said, you got to get on up off this island, right? And then she said, you got to stop walking around all naked carrying chickens. Remember that? <laughs> remember that one? I don't, I don't know if I remember that one. Oh, but... you don't remember that one? That was a good one, dog. <laughs> That one was good as hell. You should have seen that one. That was good. Huh. But that's what I, but that's what I'm talking about, though, for real, man. I'm talking about the fact that naked people running around on fire. That's taking it to the whole novel. No. That's survival right there, right. man. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right. Actually, it's yeah. called Survivor. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see yeah. Survivor. That's right, because you got to be surviving. You a survivor yourself. You out there sleeping outside, you know, and then sometimes you got to eat bugs, and, you know, and you living in the, in the elements and all that, and then you got to, you know, you got to wipe your poop on some weeds and all that. <laughs> well, actually, I'm the host, so I'm not wiping my poop on any weeds. Dog, you ain't, you ain't wiping your poop on nobody's weeds, man. You the host. You ain't doing that. That's the contestants doing that. That ain't you, man. You out there taking to the house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, man, let me just say this, though, for a second, though. You know, them half-naked girls be standing around out there, right, yeah. and they all hungry as hell, right? <laughs> and they do anything for a peanut. Anything, you know, right, <laughs> right? Any damn thing at all, right? That's what I'm talking about. And that's when you make your move, right? That's when you be trying to hook up with the girls. <laughs> Man, I'm not hooking up. I'm the host. I'm not hooking up with any girls. Well, boy, of course you ain't hooking up with no girls, man. You the host, man. There's just some dirty ass hoes running around. Yo, yo. Whoa. Whoa. What? Whoa, they're not hoes. They're my friends. Of course they're your friends, man. You've been on the island with them for seven years. It hasn't been seven years. I know, but, they, but it feel like it, though, right? It feel like it, though. It feel like it's been seven years, though, right? 
It's starting to. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see what you just did yeah. to me right there. Hi, <laughs> yeah. You took that up to the H N L. <laughs> okay, let me ask you something. Ask me away. <laughs> H N L. Yeah. What is that? If a how, not but. That's the H N L. You know that already, man, okay? But let me just say this. You probably don't even have to talk to the girls if you don't want to. You don't even got to talk to them. <laughs> I'm the host. Of course I got to talk well, to them. Of course you talking to them, man. And then nobody said you weren't going to talk to them, man. You the one that has to tell them who they going to kill next week. All right, you know what? <laughs> let me set it to you straight. We don't kill anybody. Okay. We vote people off the show. All right, so you're going to be voting some people off uh -huh. the show. You ain't exterminating brothers, you just gonna vote them off with a political democracy system on them. <laughs> That's what yeah. took it to the HNL right there. You could just be like, Scott, Scott, you know, <laughs> and just drop them and kill them like that, but you ain't gonna have to go do that. This America, brother. We ain't just gonna, Scott, you know, <laughs> you know, just drop a shiv up in the brother, walk off and drop a knife. You know, we don't get to do that. You ain't got to even do that, man. It's better when you vote it, because you're taking it to a now. Strama. You know what? I got something for you. Break it down, then, brother. Would you please break it down? You and your HNL, right? Yeah. Check this one out. Okay, give it to me. R. All right. F. Break it down. B. Uh huh. M. Okay, I don't know what that means. Break that down <laughs> Let for me. Let me tell you what. All it right. Means. R F B M. Really freaking bugging me. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. 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 You got me good on that one. You got me good. Right, man. That's good. All right. uh, oh, you took the R F B M to the eight and. Yeah. Hey, brother, can I ask you one question, though, man? Hey, can you sign this paper for me, brother? Just you know, real quick, man. Yeah. Make that out to a brother like me. Eugene. Pal. All right. <laughs> you know. yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, man. Hey, pleasure talking to you. Pleasure right? talking yeah. to you, my brother. All right. Wait a minute. Hold on now. Jeff Jeff Probst. Probes. <laughs> Probst. That's oh, my name. Oh, man. I, brother, I thought you was Matt Fox from Lost, man. I thought you had grown your hair Matt in. I didn't Fox. know. Yeah. That's an insult to me. They stole their show from us. Oh, oh you man. know what, Eugene? I'm done with this, man. Oh, I'm man. sorry. Okay. Dang, matter of fact, give me that back. Oh, okay. And I'm taking your damn pot, oh, too. my pot. <laughs> Just joining us, the competition is really heating up in figure skating. Joining us for color commentary are women's figure skating experts and authors of the book Cracks on the Ice. <laughs> Please welcome Bill Pendergrast and Jay Mattioli. Welcome. It is a pleasure to be here. I mean, thank you. Where else could you see women from around the world shoot us crotch wingers? <laughs> Scott, Phil, every nation is represented here today. Russia, Yugoslavia, Vachina, they're all here. <laughs> okay, uh, coming up first on the ice is our first competitor, Martina Rossetti. Her nickname is... Rosie. Look at that pretty tush peeking out from behind her frilly red skirt. Ooh, I would like to see her perform in the Ascapades. <laughs> okay, uh, Martina is also known to collect antique buttons. <laughs> she enjoys... Oh, oh, wow, oh, wow. Nice. Oh, would you look at that? A perfect triple camel toe. Nice. <laughs> This chick is so hot, her inside axle has given me a Zamboner. <laughs> How about you, Scotty? Oh, never mind, I forgot. <laughs> no, nothing, nothing. You think I'm gay, don't you? Well, I mean, come on, Scott. You're, you're not even performing and you're wearing tights. This is Lycra casual wear, and I'll have you know I get paid a lot of money to endorse it. <laughs> Tights and Bacardi, that's my kind of party. <laughs> oh, yeah, you think it's funny, huh? Oh, hey, 
Look who's here. It's Lucy Liu. <laughs> Michelle Kwan. <laughs> And I think you three are pigs. Your objectification of women and your perpetuation of stereotypes has made a mockery of this very difficult sport. You should be ashamed of yourselves. She, she's huskier in real life. I'd like to apologize to everyone in the world who's viewing this program, and thank God nobody watches the Winter Olympics, huh? Okay, apology accepted. Please connect yourselves with dignity and respect for the sport of ice skating. Oh, 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 oh look at that. That looked like a double crotch for us. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's a couple of happy thumbs. I'll tell you what, if she slips, he'll be wearing her like an oven mitt. <laughs> You've called me this week. What do you want? I need help making your tasty cheeseburger macaroni. Damn, lady, it's just noodles and meat. Have you ever thought about eating rice aroni? I just keep calling you because I'm fascinated by your life. You travel all around the world helping people prepare fantastic dinners. I just sit around this house all day long, just trying to dazzle my husband with minute meals and sexy sweaters he doesn't even notice me i don't i don't even remember the last time that we made love i'm sorry to hear that i think i have just the recipe for you that was amazing i feel so safe in your Hand. I'll always be there for you. So, can we do this again tomorrow? Hey, let's just let's just play this by ear. Play it by ear? With your hand. And what a hand you are. And besides, I think I love you. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, aren't you gonna say you love me back? You know what, babe? I gotta go, babe. No. <laughs> Hamburger Helper, your dinner time friend with benefits.
Welcome everybody to the show. I'm really excited tonight because uh, I get to make a very special announcement. Um, it's a little personal, but uh, last week, for the first time in my life, uh, I became a father. So, uh, thank you. Uh, now, since I'm a celebrity, I had to adopt. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not a celebrity, but uh, I did adopt a uh, beautiful little girl, and if it's all right with all of you, I'd like to uh, bring her out. Is that okay? Yeah. This is my little daughter, Audrey. Audrey, hello. Can you say hello? Can she turn to the camera? Can you say hello? <laughs> She's a little shy, it's all new. Audrey, she's, she's not used to being called Audrey uh, yet. Her real name is Beth, but I want her to have a pretty girl's name. So, <laughs> Audrey, Audrey. Okay, well, I read in a handbook, a uh, parenting handbook, that you should let children do things on their own time, you know, let them feel in control, especially when they've been adopted. So I'm gonna let her tell us when she's ready to turn around. <laughs> and I'll just sit right here. Audrey. Uh, he, uh, see, I think she's probably, um, are you ticklish? Hello? Are you ticklish? Are you ticklish? She's not ticklish. Um, I think she's probably a little angry with me because um, at the adoption agency, uh, she ha had a twin sister and they asked me if I would take both girls so that they wouldn't be separated, but uh, I just didn't want two kids. You know? So, um, I guess I'm paying for that one. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mo? That's my nickname for her, Mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> She's not ticklish. <laughs> She'll come around, though. Um, you know, she should consider herself lucky because most celebrities get their children from China. <laughs> This is not going well, I'm sorry. Um, we, I don't know why, because our first week together was so great. I took her to a whole bunch of fun uh, things. We went, um, you know, like what every kid likes to do. I took her to the beach. I think we have a picture. Do we have pictures up? Took her to the beach. <laughs> um, which, the, you know, the surf was a little rougher that day than I realized at first. Um, <laughs> So I can understand what she's looking. Uh, I took her, uh, every kid likes to go to the mountains. I took her mountain climbing. <laughs> and um, probably her favorite was, you know, all children love uh, horses. So I took her horseback riding. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, now that I see that picture, I probably shouldn't have washed her hair with green apple shampoo. <laughs> You know what, Audrey? It is one thing to ignore me, but it is another thing to ignore the audience. I'm sorry, this has gone horribly, everybody. Um, I'm just gonna take her back to the orphanage and uh, pick up her sister. <laughs> If I could, uh, could I ask you a question or something? Are you that crazy? Are you absolutely out of your no, mind? Because we're trying to drive her and you drive us off the cliff. And you just what is wrong with you, woman? You almost killed my kids. All right, all right, all right. Calm down, everybody calm down. This woman almost killed my kids. All right, calm down, calm down, sir. Unbelievable. Calm down, please. Sir, I'll start with you. Can you tell me your name and what happened? Yeah, my name is Jamie Shepler. And, and, and I, uh, earlier today, I took my family to the mall, okay? And then when we finished our shopping, I got into my car. We're driving on the freeway. The next thing I know, this woman is violently ramming our car from behind. And my kids are in the back seat. <laughs> Ma'am, did you do this? Yes, I did. <laughs> that man took my parking spot. She deliberately slammed into the back of our car because she thought we took her parking spot. I'm sure that's not what she, you're saying. Did that, is that what you're saying, man? No, that's exactly what I'm saying. That man took my spot. See, she's crazy. Okay. Ma'am, um, may I have your name, please? My name is Eva and Criddle. And I saw that spot first, so I had She was following us for 20 miles. And then I tried to lose her in these hills, and she tried to run us off of a cliff. Ma'am, did you... 
try to run this man and his family off of a cliff? Yes, I tried that, and I almost had him on a couple of those hairpin turns. Unbelievable. But see, he pulled into my parking spot. So you tried so, to kill him? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, sir. And if I hadn't had to stop at that railroad crossing, we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> but see, officer, they had pulled into my parking Ma spot. Now, I want to know what you can do Do you about realize that. what you are saying? Yes, I do realize it. But see, I don't like to walk far, and that spot was close. I can't believe I'm so hearing this. She's saying that she would kill my kids. Are you saying that you would kill my kids because we made you walk far? Yes, I would kill your kids. Um, but I had to circle around for that spot. That's sick, okay? And, by, and besides that, there were like four other open spots there. But see, I needed the spot close to the garden center because I needed to get me a shovel. Hey, Ms. Grillo, it's irrelevant why you need I, a shovel. I don't, I don't need to know that. But I needed that shovel to brain my neighbor's dog. Miss Criddle, don't say anything more about the shovel. But my neighbor's sprinklers keep hitting my car. And so that's why I was Oh, my God, lady. Dog. You were planning on killing someone's dog because your car got wet? Yes, that was my plan. <laughs> but see, those sprinklers keep hitting that car like that. And that wears that's down enough. that paint job. All right, that, that and is... And so that's I why need I needed that. to go get that shovel. Miss Criddle, But no it was more. heavy, so I wanted to go close. Miss Criddle, don't tell me anything. But he pulled into my spot, I... so I had to kill him and his kids. <laughs> All right. Can you hold this for me, please? Miss Criddle, I'm going to have to place you under arrest for attempted vehicular manslaughter. Okay, good. But that man took my spot. Miss Criddle, you have the right to remain silent. Anything okay. you say, Ken, will be held against you in a court of law. That's fine, but that shovel was heavy. I'm going to tell him that. You cannot code provide yourself from the attorney. One will be provided for you by the state. Well, that sound good, but see, when her sprinklers hit my car like that, that just ain't right. Ms. I had Criddle, to go get that Ms. Criddle, do you understand your shovel. rights? Yes, I do. I sure do. But I had to bring that dog to the sprinkler smack like that. All right. The center stone on this necklace is a 21 karat flawless diamond. <laughs> Nobody move. This is a robbery. Don't bad with jewels. If it is jewels you seek, here is a pearl of wisdom. <laughs> The blind kung fu master! Die! 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 <laughs> Damn, that hurts! Can somebody please help me? Help me? Yes. yes. Oh, thank you very much. How sweet. <laughs> My students may scare easily, but I do not. Who said that? It was I! <laughs> the evil blind student of the blind kung fu master! <laughs> Joe? Joe Mendelstein, is that you? Yes. It appears destiny has brought us together again, huh? Oh, you just ran into something, didn't you? Was it a table or a chair or a human being? I wouldn't be blind if it weren't for you throwing Chinese stars in the house all the time. Oh, you're still mad about that, huh? Well, maybe I should play with the Chinese stars again. But this time, I will end your life. <laughs> That was my cookie, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Damn it! That was my lunch. <laughs> so this is how it ends. Master against master. Oh, you are master now? <laughs> yes. I now wear the robe that bears the mark of the deadly Shan Tzu dragon. <laughs> It's not a dragon, is it? Oh, no, it's the hang in there, kitty. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. It Nobody does. tries to help you out. You just stand here. They all laugh at you. Us Asians must stick together. <laughs> not Asian, I'm black. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. 
I'm still going to kill you. Prepare to die. No, I'm not hitting you, am I? No, not even close. It's okay, sorry, folks. Our bad. Is everybody okay that's not a blind kung fu master? I have blood coming out of my ear. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm blind. I don't even know what blood looks like. You have avoided death momentarily, blind master Mendelstein. But you cannot face the fury of the fist of the drunken monkey. Your drunken monkey is no match for my Wu Tang style. Oh, yeah! Well, do you know Doggy Style? your maker! It seems that I have taught you well. You have proven to be a worthy opponent. Like most masters, I must face the fact that my teachings will be the cause of my own undoing. <laughs> He's not here, is he? No, he, he already left. Damn it! How come nobody tell me? Blind! Blind! Uh, this is the last time I will look like a fool. Which way did he go? Well, I, I see about the window. I will crash through it and surprise him. Won't you get hurt? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I look like a fool. You said he was there. Y'all wasn't in it, man. It's our voices. Our voices are in. Y'all taking it to the H and L then. I can't believe Did we order something? Yeah, no, I was coming in to deliver a package to uh, room 234. So, all right, man. I can't believe this. If, if I had seen one of you in your own movie by yourself, that would be right here. But to have all three of you in the same thing, that's just taking it to a house. That's how I have a level right there. That's amazing, man. I was just wondering if I could, uh, could I ask you a question or something. Sure. I thought you were delivering a package. You I got, was, man. You got I'm questions? Looking, I got, um, what what y'all doing in the, in, the, in the hotel? He thinks I'm George Lopez. <laughs> that's the thing. That's no, cool. you're, the, you're the one I love. You're the one I love. What is his that's name? Cool. On the show, when your wife and then your mama was mean all the time. Yeah, too. that's it. <laughs> that's the best show, because you be taking it to a house now. That's what you do. I'm a level. Oh, and, and I, had seen, I had seen this movie last night, and then I had gone to see it. Yeah. And y'all wasn't in it, man. It's our voices. Our voices are in it. Oh, you? Yeah. Okay, so voices. hold it. Wait right. a minute now. Right. Y'all got your voices mm -hmm. doing the animals right. in the... Y'all taking it to the H&L then. Okay. <laughs> the whole next level. That's a whole thing. Oh, 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 that's a whole number level. Oh, no, no. That's what I'm talking about. That's ridiculous. Okay, see, you that big old elephant, and you that big sexy girl elephant, right? With the booty. Oh, with that big ass booty there. Okay. And then you, was you, you that little monkey. <laughs> Nobody knows what the hell it is. He's not a monkey, though. He, 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 uh, 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 he a marsupial of some sort? Uh, I ain't playing no marsupial. Oh, okay. That's like that's that's you. Oh, you profiling me, man. Are you funny? Yeah. Uh, I may not be funny, but I'm clever. Just as good. When you was in that movie, when you was that little painter, I made you cry. That was good, man. And you was trying to save him and that thing. Oh, and he was like, but love is the love, love. Right, was, right. That was good, man. You should have been into that, into that movie. Because yeah, you should have rocked girl. it. Did, did you, you know, cry during Mooseport? I did cry during Mooseport, man. I cried during because Mooseport. Because you know what? She had me. Different reasons. She yeah, yeah, had me. I cried during Mooseport. I did. You cried during So wait a minute. So this movie is called Ice Age, the Nuclear Meltdown, right? Okay. No, just, the movie. just the Meltdown. Oh, okay. So y'all took 
a regular meltdown yeah. right. to a how? Never. Never. That's what you did. That's exactly what you did. Okay. And I'm saying, you about to, about to be about the richest man in the world, ain't you? No, that ain't true. That's not true. Of course it ain't true. You can't be the richest man in the world. It's just it's TV. It's, it's just TV. Can't, can't it's make-believe. Make believe. Right, Money. it's make-believe. Hey, no, but, but for real, though, y'all. For real, yeah. For real, though, for real. When y'all doing the voices, man, that's easy, ain't it? It just easy, ain't it? Well, it's it's not yeah. it's not easy. Yeah. No. Of course it ain't easy. No, it ain't easy, man. You got to read the line. It was fun though, but it was fun, right? It it's was not fun. that much fun. Yeah. It's a lot more yeah. drama. I love like, the yeah. people. Like on Moothport. That's like yeah. a lot of drama on Moothport. Oh, Heavy drama. Heavy drama. Heavy drama. Hey man, can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah. Why did I do it? Yeah. Why did you do it? <laughs> why did you do it? It was a spectacular film. <laughs> I enjoyed it so much. What a spectacular. A spectacular oh. film. Yeah. In, in, in particular for me, I had enjoyed it quite a bit. And I was wondering, thank God you had done it. Why did you do it? I just want to know. Please, uh, please, please, Roy Parmesan. Please, uh, Ray, 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 Ray Romano. Oh, Romano. The other cheese. The other cheese. I see. Will you all sign my package? I ain't touching your package. Uh, yes, I oh, oh, touch I touch your package. Oh, thank you very much. It's oh, that's suck, security. Bro. That's security. I got to go. That's security. That's security. That's security. I got to go. Who was that? I don't know, man. Hey, I'm glad they let him in. What's craziness? He was rocking. Whole number 11. That's a whole nine level. Whole nine You really rich, man? Nobody told me about the wealth part of it. No, well, you got your health. That's all that matters. <laughs> one decaf latte, one special late. You make me want to be wonderful. Mm. Aww. <laughs> How long have you two been together? Eleven penis-free years. <laughs> Guess what? I'm in love, too. Ooh. Well, what's she like? Oh, you'll find out in just a minute. I told her to meet us here. Oh, and there she is. Hi. <laughs> Friend Leslie. Hey, how you doing? Good nice to meet, to meet you. you. Good to meet you too. Nice to meet hey. You. So. So. So, uh, where did you two girls meet? Home Depot. Where else? <laughs> I went there to buy some petunias for my window box when all of a sudden I was assaulted in the parking lot by a mob of illegal aliens. <laughs> Leslie beat up all 15 of them. Yeah. Turns out they were just looking for work, but you know how men are. You can't trust them even if they're Mexican. <laughs> Us lesbians gotta stick together. Am I right or am I right? You're right! Mm -hmm. Uh, Leslie. Now, you must be new in town, because I've never seen you at any lesbian functions. Have you, Patty? No, I have not. I guess that's because I've always, you know, struggled uh, with my uh, lesbianity. <laughs> in fact, just thinking about it makes me want to use the cat box. Excuse me. There's a pretty long line. Thanks for the tip. If I have to, I'll just duck into the men's room. This is a lesbian bar. There is no men's room. I can be such a dumb girl sometimes. <laughs> Don't I get a goodbye kiss? Of course you do. <laughs> oh, gosh. I have never felt this way about any other girl before. What do you think? Uh, she's a little butch. <laughs> she's a lesbian. Yeah, but there's all kind of lesbians. I mean, your lipstick. Mm -hmm. We're no nonsense. And Leslie is the kind with the scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting at? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> you ain't talking about me behind my back, are you? <laughs> It was quick. What happened to the line? Oh, you know, I, I couldn't hold it, so I just went in the alley and wrote my name on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? Of course. Prove it. Oh! Um. Oh, look! Our lattes are ready. 
I'll get them. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, don't thank me now. Thank me later when I get naked. <laughs> What's up? What did she mean when she said when she gets naked? Yeah, let me guess. When you two have sex, Karen's the only one that takes her clothes off. Well, yeah, you're, you're right about that. Um, but that's only because, like a lot of lesbians, I have uh, a justified poor body image. <laughs> or maybe you're a man. Why would a man pretend to be a lesbian? Uh, to get some nookie off a pretty but stupid lesbian? Hey! <laughs> Two lattes, extra milk. Mmm, I love milk and where it comes from. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but we just don't think Leslie is a lesbian. Look, if you want me to prove it to you, I'll les out with all three of you right now. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh. <sighs> now, honey, I was thinking, just for a special treat, maybe when we make love tonight, you could take your clothes off. Okay, but... I gotta warn you about something. Ooh, I like secrets. My vagina looks a lot like a penis with two testicles. <laughs> I'm Ike. And I'm Bobby. Bobby. We're on Mad TV. What's up? Mad TV here. It's been fun. Mad, mad, mad. Mad TV. Uh, Wedding party ready to bust a move! Yeah! Yo, 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 I'm checking out my watch, homies. You know what time it is? What? It's conga time! Father yeah! 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 get over here! Yeah! Come on! Oh, my father! Where are we going? Oh, oh, no, not the terrace! This is crazy! <laughs> This neighborhood looks a little dicey. I'm not getting any cell reception. The street signs aren't in English anymore. <laughs> I can't see the front of the line or the back of the line. I'm so tired. I think I'm going to let go. No, you can't let go. If you let go of the conga line now, it'll break apart. And then what will happen to me, huh? What will happen to me? Damn it! <laughs> Everybody relax, OK? Have some faith. The front of the line knows where we're going. You don't know that. They could be leading us into a volcano or a wood chipper. Stop scaring everybody. They need to be scared. This isn't the same line we started with. There's a homeless guy and a mailman behind me. We're gonna get back okay, all right? The groom is leading the line. No, I'm not. What? Wait, oh my God, if you're back there, then who's in charge of this car line? No, oh, no. Things got so crazy when we crossed that bridge. Oh my God, we're going down there. I have a plan. I think you and I should try to electric slide out of this conga line. Don't, 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 don't look around. You're talking crazy. The conga line ends when we get back to the banquet hall. We are all in this together. Well, okay. So it's this conga line over your new bride? Thank God I found out about this now. So long, baby. Wait, Cindy. 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 Cindy, get out. Cindy, come back. Oh 
First off, I'd like to congratulate Bill Phillips for breaking the sales record on the North Crater. This guy could sell property on the dark side of the moon, but I don't know about his golf swing. <laughs> <laughs> Help you folks? <laughs> Is this the banquet hall of the Best Western? <laughs> this was a Best Western 30 years ago. Oh, I used to DJ weddings here. DJ Funky Fresh? Why, yes. <laughs> it's been a long time. I'm a moon realtor now. Where are the conga lines you started? Oh, my God. <laughs> Is this all that's left? <laughs> yes. We lost a lot of great people out there. All that's left is me. This bridesmaid. My father-in-law. And the mailman. <laughs> well, welcome home. Come. There's much to tell you. Uh, Come, all of you. Come on. Hold my hips. Over 700,000 people die every year in Congo Lines. Talk to your kids about the dangers of conga lining. I'm a married man. Oh, that is not my wife. <laughs> Trust me. Psych! Again? Yeah, I, I think I want to get those brown boots. <sighs> Everything is 15% off. My name is Ariel. So let me know if you need any help. <laughs> is that that guy you like? Okay, can I just say, and I'm just being honest, but there's a connection and everyone can see it. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm just going to go up to that guy right now and be like, you know what? I'm in love with you. And I'm sorry if this sounds weird, but I feel like you should ask me out and we should be together. You know what I mean? Really? Seriously. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You have to say something. Seriously, do it. You're just being honest. <laughs> um, excuse Hi. me. I'm sorry, where are those boots again? Can I just say? <laughs> Aisle three. Oh, thanks. Hey guys, and we just got a new shipment of suede pumps, so I was thinking after we all take our breaks, we could stock them. Yeah, that sounds great, Jenny. We'll do that. Can I just say, Jenny's breath always smells like dead garbage. I'm just being honest, you know what I mean? I mean, there could be something seriously wrong with her insides, you know? You know, I'm gonna go up to her right now and say, I'm sorry, but your breath is damaging. <laughs> to you and everyone around you, you know? Really. Exactly, exactly. It's what you have to do. Seriously, do it. You're just being honest. <laughs> hey, guys, aren't these cute? Honestly, they sure are. say something. I feel like we say stuff, but we don't do stuff. Mm -hmm. And I am seriously, I'm just gonna go up to that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do it. Do it. You should. Go. On it. Seriously. Work it. Really. You got it. Exactly. Go. Hey, can I pay for these? Sure. But you know what? I'm in love with you. And I'm sorry if this sounds weird, but I'm just being honest. And I feel like you should ask me out and we should be together. You know? Really. $37.50. Oh, um, would you like to go out sometime? Yes, I would. Thank you for asking. What time do you finish work? Um, 8 o'clock. All right. I'll see you at 8 o'clock. All right. Bye. Oh, my God, that was amazing. You said it, and then you did it, and then you got it. I know, you guys. It's that simple. Is okay, so you ready to sock these shoes now? Uh, yeah, we are. But can I just say, your breath smells like dead garbage. I mean, it's really damaging. I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest. You need to get help for it. You know? Really. 
to tell her her boobs are lopsided. No. Oh. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Uh, my name is Stephen Craig. I'm a writer on Mad TV. Hey, Amber, maybe you should, uh, Run along and see if you can find me some more popcorn shrimp. Yeah. All right. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Miss you. Miss you already. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye. I'm a married man, and that is not my wife. Trust me. You folks at home probably think you've caught me in an affair. Psych! See, I wrote this whole thing. I wrote that you caught me canoodling with a woman on a soundstage. I typed it. I wrote the whole thing. I am the writer. I can do anything. Ta-da! I'm the pimp king of Mad TV. And with this power I have, I am going to show you a sketch that I wrote with my friend Rich Tellerico three years ago. We wrote the sketch for Mad TV and they refused to produce it because they are idiots. So now here for your viewing pleasure is Stephen Craig and Rich Tellerico's zombie surprise party. Ooh. Would you like to party with a living day wearing or maybe a head There's rotting skin And real bad breath Happy birthday Here comes death It's a zombie surprise party Quiet Everybody Is coming
Goldstein, how you doing? It's Mr. Goldstein, everybody. Big cheese here at Mad TV. Yeah, we know. We work here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's totally right. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Stephen Craig, the writer. Don't you see that? Honey? I'm shutting this down, all right? I never approved the zombie sketch. I hate the zombie sketch. Everybody go home. We're done. Everybody go home. No, no, no. All the zombies stay right where you are. Get, me, get that camera back here. Get it back. Get the chip back. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Mr. Goldstein. You know what? You go home. You go home. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> you think that's funny? Yeah, I do think it's funny. I'm in charge now, oh, okay? And there's nothing you can do about it. You douche. Oh, oh. Yeah. So what are you going to do about it? Big man, huh? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> this critter just... Sit back and I will and take you to the station. He pulled that big station wagon in that parking spot and he knew he seen me circling. And yeah. I had my blink around. Bringing in too. a suspect, Miss Criddle. I'm gonna, to I'm actually gonna order you now, please, to be quiet. Okay, I'm All right? Say another word. That is a direct say police order. Miss Police are coming in sprinklers came and hit my car like that because that ain't right how people just had their water spray. Miss Criddle? Can, even can you see this gun? I sure do see it. Wish I'd had it when I'd been back there at that parking lot. I'm telling you right now, that gun at that I will. Van and he would have pulled out my space. I will hit you across the forehead with this if I have to. Okay, good.